Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. My goal in this video is to create the Global Defense Council and conquer the entire world. I mean, unify the entire world. I'm going to be playing on regular, historical AI focuses off. My mods should be linked in the description, and uh, let's start. I'm going to get electromechanical engineering for that research bonus and eventually radios, basic machine tools, and construction one. And next up, national focus. I'm going to go the popular front. And my goal will be to try and get down to disband the army as quickly as possible. So I'm going to put guns on the bottom as a buffer. When I lose my factories, I don't lose the uh, production efficiency on my support equipment or artillery. None of these are going to finish in time anyway, so I'm just going to cancel the entire navy. I guess build some convoys. I'm going to build up in the two Aragons. I don't think I'll get either of those done in time. I'm going to secure the Guardia Seville, and now begins the on-map decisions to start taking over control. What I really want to make sure I do is do all of the things to delay the military plot for as long as possible. Why is there two military plots? Let's start with concessions to the left. I'm going to want to stockpile as much political power as I can. I always want 30 in the bank to click these decisions. I'm playing on non-historical, so weird things are going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and research trucks, since they're going to be quite important for my strategy. The military plot is going to happen in 86 days, so I think it's time to research radios. The dominions break with the crown. Looks like uh, Britain is going monarchist. Let's go ahead and get support weapons one. All right, and then let's get uh, this region. Cut their fronts in half. That's going to be important so that I can squash the south and have them contained in the north. And also at the exact same time that our civil war has started, Italy has gone to civil war as well. The Spanish civil war has begun, which through communal revolutionary struggle we will win. Let's train up as many of these as we can get. We can get about 17 it looks like. That's going to be great. Train these up as fast as possible. It's not worth it to uh, go up to war economy because all must bear the torch switches out my thing anyways. Let's get you for that extra political power gain, war support, and support for unaligned. Try and take as much as we can. Try and secure the port if we can. Get this supply hub. Get that supply hub. A couple of you to do a naval invasion. Get you to do a naval invasion here. Initial combats are going well. Troops are getting into position. Get as much of a land grab as we can before the front lines solidify. Try and break out of this uh, encirclement up here, ideally. I made another encirclement here. Almost captured Sevilla, that's good. If we can close this down here, we're gonna free up some extra troops. Naval invasion is almost ready. Civil war front lines solidify. Now that we've gotten this done let's plan a naval invasion around here thing like that start prepping for this naval invasion please the soviets want to give us nine support equipment no <laughs> they're doing offensive over here let's do a leon offensive that'll be good these naval invasions are off this naval invasion is probably going to fail unfortunately but this one was uh, done unopposed let's move up here this unit has been encircled unfortunately fair enough i was a little aggressive with them i don't know if we're going to be able to take this there's quite a bit of resistance over here. Uh, this naval invasion is ready. Go ahead and send that off. Okay, we got this encirclement off. That's good. Okay, this naval invasion. Are there any resistance? No, there isn't. All right. Fantastic. Well, let's see if we can link these lines up. All right, can I deploy my units yet? Uh, yes, I can. And we have linked up our lines. India is breaking apart, having its own civil war. That is a theme. Wait, am I going to be able to pull off this naval invasion? Is there a unit here? They is. Ah, oh, dang. Unfortunate. Oh, I did take the bow. I did not expect that. We have done it. Oh, I didn't even need to do another offensive. Nationalist Spain has been destroyed. Somehow we retained all of our cores. I thought usually you lose your cores, but that's fine. Japan is now also having... A democratic revolution. I want to get some tanks, so I'm going to go for some tanks. Start working on that nice and early. 
how much time do we have? We have 106 days until the crackdown. So I have just enough time to do one 70 day focus or two 35 day focuses. Let's get auto gestation and then I will go for master of zero fate. Let's get engine upgrades for our tanks. I'm gonna make some very fast light tanks. That's my idea. And the Soviet Union has declared war on the Soviet Union. Well, I'm guessing we're not going to get any more volunteers from them. That's actually really beneficial because the volunteers will probably go to the side against me. So this is great. Government crackdown. Our revolution will not be so easily extinguished. Now begins the scramble for territory again. We're securing a lot of territory. About to cut them off over here. We've taken Valencia. Fantastic. And then I also want my air force over here, or what? It's not really much of an air force, 20 planes. Uh, let's get uh, armor improved again. Or engine, why did I say armor? That's that's not what it is. Basically the same thing, right? It has one organization left, you can do this. And we have done it, an anarchist victory. And we have 12 divisions remaining, which we will park on the border with Portugal. I want to start producing some trucks, anti-air, and then I would like to try and train up as many of these divisions as I can. Another 12, sure. Let's get that army offense, start getting some extra army experience trickling in. End of the Soviet Civil War. Oh, this is an interesting thing. Portugal is now having a wee bit of a conflict. Hopefully the war goal still works. Let's go ahead and get almost bear the torch. Land doctrine, superior firepower, short. Portugal has finished its internal conflict. That's fine. That means that they have that many less divisions, which will only make it that much easier to do my shenanigans later. And France is having some troubles as well. Civilian oversight for that extra compliance growth, actually. It is going to cost some more equipment, but that should be fine. Threats abound. Rush towards Portuguese anarchism. Um, let's go ahead and get the infantry genius. Trains probably would be good. Let's start a production line for trains, actually, right now. And things have kicked off. Uh, France is not in a great condition. End of the League of Nations. Oh, interesting. So Republican Italy has been drawn into this as well, it looks like. Balkan Entente is expanding. Maybe they'll do okay if they can crush Hungary. French Commune has collapsed, and that's not good. Very interesting peace deal there. Republican Italy has joined the Balkan Entente. I actually put my bets on the Balkan Entente on winning this. I don't think Germany stands a chance, which is really interesting because that's going to vastly change the power dynamic. Uh, Great Britain has formed, non-aligned. Interesting. We have a uh, this going on for some reason. I don't know why that happened. Okay, well, I guess I didn't need to uh, do the whole Portuguese anarchism focus anyways because they decided uh, they were going to go first. Sure, uh, let's do this. I don't know why they thought this was a great idea considering that I already had my army super prepared for this. But uh, thanks, you saved me a couple of days of waiting for that focus. This is going to be so easy. Oh yeah, they don't stand a chance. Um... Okay, that's where things get slightly interesting. Maybe get a front line over here if we can. I was going to maybe prepare a little bit more before this confrontation, but sure, you know what, we'll do it now. The subs are going to be a problem, we might lose some stuff. Portugal is almost done for, there's no way they have much time left. Unfortunately, I don't get to do a peace deal, so I don't get to actually annex any of that territory. Maybe try and pull off an encirclement here. Go ahead and start getting our ports garrisoned, because I have a suspicion that that might be important. Let's send the rest over to here. Maybe a naval invasion lined up. Some of these ports over here. See if I can get lucky. 
cut all of the supply in North Africa. I'd love to take back my port. Keep pushing into here. Oh wow, we just uh, destroyed that division. All right, we don't need uh, this naval invasion anymore. Let's try and cut them off. Secure the supply hubs. Another research slot would be great. Let's uh, take a detour for that. There is a uh, small anarchist Portugal that is rising up in Angola. We are very low on support equipment. I'm trying to encircle their port if I can. Uh, almost got that division encircled. Dang it, they moved away. All right, take this. There are German tanks in Casablanca, but Casablanca is now encircled. If we can push them all the way, oh dang, like we'd have to push all the way to Egypt if we wanted to cut the axis out of North Africa. That's gonna be a long campaign. Need to get this supply hub back. Please and thank you. Oh, if I can pull off this encirclement, that would be fantastic. We have managed to cut them off over here. All right, sweet, we grabbed the port over here. If we can hit uh, Sardinia, we can knock out Mussolini and actually maybe be able to not have to walk all the way over to the border with Egypt. We have encircled this division. Oh no. Oh no. Don't break out. I really wish I had had more time to prepare. I didn't expect to get into uh, the full swing of things this early. Take Casablanca, they moved out of it. They, they're they so dumb, why did they do that? Oh, just don't get, don't die. No, I needed two seconds. I needed two seconds to grab the Casablanca. Well, your sacrifice was worth it. It allowed us to grab the port and with it, a lot of supply. We are making some encirclements happen. We have taken another port all the way over here. Keep pushing. The less ports they have, the less supply they have. This one stubborn division is annoying. We've cut off them. Let's make sure that we can hold it. Dang it, not again. Stop doing this, please. Unfortunately, I can't continue until I finish off Germany because I need the peace deal. Oh, that's so annoying. I need the peace deal before I can actually get these cores. And I can't... Oh... I can't get rid of recovering from the Civil War until I take out Germany. That's so annoying. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I don't think a naval invasion is going to happen. Let me just send my troops over the hard way and do this the hard way. I want to keep it nice and cheap because I do not have many factories. Uh, nothing fancy, but it's fast. That's the important thing. So let's go ahead and produce this. Oh, Czechoslovakia is starting to expand a little bit. It looks like... This shall be over soon, and hopefully we can get as much war score as we can uh, throughout our African campaign just to get some land in the peace deal. We're not doing too bad in terms of war score, 21%. The, uh, the little uprising in Portugal has been crushed, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Ooh, you. You are over here. You shall be encircled. All right. Goodbye. That was a mistake, Italy. Of course, Italy is... You know, there's not much of Italy that Italy holds. This Italy, anyways. The other Italy holds a good amount of Italy. All right, encirclement, take them out. Keep walking to the port. Yes, there's no supply, but if you get to the port, there will be. I really hope there's not a vision on that port. Secure this port. I think that's the last port for a while, so I don't think I'll push much further. Germany claims Memel. Honestly, Lithuania, I don't know why you gave it to them. They're on their way out. And soon... They're going to fall. I would love some military access. Maybe if I improve relations, I could get military access. How close are they? No. Okay. They're not going to give me military access. You all do not need to be walking through the desert starving. Let's go ahead and get people back over here. Oh, you have made a massive mistake, this infantry division. And encircled. Only two more ports to go. I don't want them to actually retreat until I get this division encircled. All right, there we go. It's encircled. That's good. Okay, push up towards the port, push up towards the port. Um, um, uh, I am not pleased by this development. Hmm. <clears throat> I see. This is what you get when you play a historical, I suppose. We now have another new 
antagonist that has joined the fray. Why? Why must you have done this? What what has incited you to do so? All right, we got this division encircled. Oh man, Italy's sending so much to defend this last port. Why do you care so much about North Africa? I feel like you have more pressing concerns. Oh, right. Yeah, fantastic. You know how I was saying I only have to go towards Egypt? Now I have to go all the way. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to secure the entirety of North Africa. This is a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> so, oh, oh no, I forgot. No, <laughs> I forgot about Gibraltar. Uh, good thing I have a ton of troops here ready to, to deal with this mess. I forgot that that is a thing as well. Oh man, there's so many troops over here. I'm gonna need reinforcements over in this direction. Let's um pull back to a defensive position. As much as I'd absolutely love to hold on to Benghazi, I just don't think it's feasible, Tile, but they will be completely out of supply because they have to cross this whole gap, but I'll be in supply. So let's make a tactical withdraw, give up this ground and send in some reinforcements as well. Unfortunately, they did get reinforcements over here. I'd still like to pull off this encirclement. Don't think I'll be able to get this port. Maybe they're gonna be dumb enough to actually move off of the port and I can take it any, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. The AI. What are they doing? The Gibraltar mess has been uh, mostly dealt with at this point. Dang it, they did manage to get a tank into here. Okay, but maybe we can encircle the tank if we're quick. Fall of Gibraltar. For the first time since it was seized by the British more than two centuries ago, Gibraltar is back in Spanish hands. Let's go. This is quite the, uh, the world. I would love if the Fourth International joined in on the fight. What's the odds that they do that anytime soon? They've they've abandoned the port. They left the tank out of the port. You idiots. I mean, I say as I leave all of my ports undefended <laughs> as well. Fantastic. All right, let's cut off this tank and take it out. I will not complain about some destroyed tanks. <gasps> yes! Ha! Ah, the French Commune has joined in. Germany is doomed. Oh, finally. And if they can push down and get this, that would be great. We can knock out this entire area. I see an opportunity here, which I will take. Let's push up over here. Ooh, uh, Ireland has joined in on the fight. I don't know how well they'll do. Encirclement, please. Yes. Ha ha. And we've done it. Yes, this is good. Do I start going for another offensive? Try and take, push this way? Sure, yeah. Okay, you guys go back to Benghazi. <laughs> Time to do this long march through the desert a second time. Ah, uh, dang. I was hoping that maybe, uh, maybe there's still a chance, but they took the port, so it's unlikely. I was hoping that this Corsica invasion of Sardinia could have worked out. Yes, another encirclement. Keep it going. And another encirclement over here. Take out this tank, please. Uh, see if we can take the, uh, the Suez. That would be a massive boost. Nice, we've taken out this. Uh, with that, we'll have secured our western flank pretty much entirely. Well, Ireland looks like it might actually secure the entire island. Let's uh, bring the air force around over to here. All right, yeah, I think we might actually be able to push towards the Suez. I mean, it's us and the French commune. I mean, we're closing in from both sides. Yes, take them all out. It's not big, but it feels impactful. You know, that's five divisions right there. I'm not going to complain. Not very good divisions, albeit. Yeah, I think we'll be able to take out the Suez. The problem is I think the French are going to get there first. But you know what? I don't really care who gets the Suez. As long as it's not in British hands, I will be pleased. Greece has joined the 4th Internationale. Uh, I have enough to start getting. Let's do air crew survey and centralized control. Sure. Oh, Cairo has fallen to the French. All right. They, they've taken the Suez, which is... I would have liked it. Maybe I can still get it in the peace deal. We'll get the uh, the pyramids under our control at least, probably. Oh no. Hey, Commune of France. Oh no, they won't give me military access. I'll just set up a uh, defensive line over here. That's fine. I don't actually want to push down all the way through. Yes. We've reversed the encirclement. Let's make sure that it doesn't happen again. All right, cool. We do have good compliance in most of North Africa. Give me this encirclement over here. I'd like to take out these tanks. Yes. Unfortunately, the French commune's colonies over here have fallen. Britain is doing a naval invasion of the French commune. I really hope they can uh, hold that off. Let's go ahead and get you guys over here. 
prepared along this border because I don't trust the French to hold the line and I don't want to be caught completely off guard. I'm probably going to need to pull more divisions over that way. Try and get this port over here. If I get that port, I'll stop there though. Let's not worry about this port. Let's pull off this encirclement and then fall back to a defensive terrain. I have a bad feeling that France is going to fall and that would be catastrophic. The advantage if France falls is that I can push up and take France and then I can push into Germany. I, that's assuming I'm able to do it with my ragtag army. I'll make it work. I'd like to see if I can pull off some kind of naval invasion like this. If I can just take this port, I can knock out Italy and get so many ships. And start working on my armor division. I want it support artillery, support anti-air, engineer company, more light tanks, more motorized, maybe something like this. I will do an armored recon company. Let's do this, this uh, as my armored division. Add the anti-air to my regular infantry. If I can get the port and these encirclements off, that would be awesome. Ah, dang, they had someone on the port. That was ambitious. I wasn't sure whether it would work. Pull this guy back. We got at least the one encirclement. Little, uh, little push here, keep them on their toes. I could do a really bold strategy. I could justify a war goal on the French commune. How long would this take? 35 days. I could swipe up, take out the French commune, and then take out Germany and Britain, break the stalemate, take the Suez. I'm so annoyed that that Portugal thing happened because because they're in a faction. We have to take out both Britain and Germany in order to actually continue down my focus tree and get rid of the, start getting cores and getting rid of stuff. So once I can do that, I'm going to be in an incredibly powerful position. But until then, it's going to be really rough. Are they going to be dumb enough to let me pull this off a second time? I will just keep encircling them over and over and over again in this one tile if they will let me. There is a naval invasion. Hooray! Something to do. <laughs> Let's get these 12 divisions rushing over this way. It's quite the big invasion, but I'll be able to fend it off. That's odd. The territory's not flipping back to me. It's it's going to the, the Portugal that capitulated. And we've encircled the port, kind of. Maybe we can do this. Let's uh, get this extra research slot. Sure. This naval invasion has largely failed. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to pull this off. It was worth another try. Oh. Fun. That focus didn't complete. Because we must have lost one factory because of that naval invasion. We need to close out this naval invasion. Bulgaria joins. That's um, not good for the... Balkan Entente. Hopefully they react to that quickly. Our puppet is kind of back on the map. I guess. It's still technically capitulated. They're trying hopelessly to make a push. French communes not looking super healthy. Paris has in fact fallen. What I'm thinking, send a couple of divisions, four divisions over here to push up this way. 16 is not much. I might need to remove my port guards, which is a bad idea. So if I'm careful, I might be able to remove these port guards. We'll just cover our western flank. We don't actually need to cover the Mediterranean at all. Ooh, it's anti-Soviet pact. Are you going to be joining in then? I mean, I, I won't I won't complain about that. And let's go ahead and justify a war goal. 35 days. We'll join in. Smash them. Oh, hey, welcome to the party. <laughs> you better not win and join the Axis. That would be so irritating. Doesn't look like they'll win, which is fine, because I would much rather not have to have them join the Axis. That would suck. Let's actually get freedom of thought now. This might be a super dumb idea. Ooh, hey, Balkan Entente's making some gains. It looks like Bulgaria has not joined in the war. Makes sense, they're not really in a good position to win. Balkan Entente has pretty much completely secured Austria again. They had lost it a while ago, but it looks like they're getting it back. Completed our justification, and I'm about to do something Likely very, very stupid. All right, let's uh, secure the Suez. Hopefully they don't have any divisions over here. I don't want to take too many casualties. Maybe I can make an assault here. Hopefully we can win this. We've added more people to the list that hate us. Come on, pull off this encirclement. Yeah, good. 
We've now got a land border in Europe to finally fight. Beautiful. The French have fallen. Let's see what we can get in the peace deal. Um, some aluminum would be fantastic. Let's pass this first turn without demanding anything. And then I can get this state right here. That's going to be good. Submit demands. I would really like this. Let me have it, please. At the very least. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did they have to make a puppet and not annex the territory? Or not a puppet. Change government. You are annoying. You are very annoying. My whole strategy was to get a land border so that I could uh, take out Germany, but now that has not happened. At least I have this border over here with Great Britain, and I have the Suez. If we can get the ports fast enough, they won't be able to reinforce this area. And I did at least get the uh, the aluminum, which is uh, going to help a lot. Well, that was very dumb. That was not the outcome I was hoping. I knew that was stupid, but I didn't realize it was that kind of stupid. Well, it's something. I got aluminum. That's good. And I got the Suez. And all this. Sweet. They have no divisions over here, and they have no port, which means we have secured this region. Sweet. This is probably a huge mistake, because now the Balkan Entente can have the, the entire weight of the Axis against them. And I don't trust the AI to be able to know how to deal with that on their own. And they won't let me get military access, which is really irritating. And uh, we're stuck. We're locked out of the rest of our focus tree until we win this war. I guess I'll take the dockyards, maybe, because that's literally the only thing I have. Or I could do, like, one of these, the continuous focuses. Ooh, ooh, we have unlocked the advanced light chassis. Sweet. We're going to at least be able to get one of those divisions out, probably. Yay. We've secured, pretty much secured the Mediterranean. We have both in and out. He is actually locked down. Which means if I'm super lucky, <gasps> uh, yes, I want to knock these guys out because the AI is refusing to do it for me. I hope they aren't stacking like 40 divisions on here. Yes, we're doing it. We've launched the naval invasion. Hopefully there's not too much over here and we can actually take these islands. Hopefully we don't get sunk on the way from these, uh, these boats. Uh, a little bit sunk. Not ideal. Come on, please give me this. Let's cut them off. Sweet, we've landed. We just need to take Corsica and we'll have it. Yes, finally. That will be an Italian Navy knocked out. That should mean that, uh, yeah, this other Italy should be gone and out of the fight finally. Be one thing dealt with, oh no. No, Czechoslovakia is looking kind of sad. Dang, let's get an invasion of Malta going. And Corsica is ours. Let's launch this invasion of Malta. Hopefully it works. And we've taken it. Prague is about to fall though. That's bad. I can't resist. If I'm lucky they don't have anything on this port, I can actually take it for once. Ooh. Ooh, they don't have anything on that port. This is a big breakthrough. And we've taken out this division and we're about to take out this one. It's not worth it to push much further. I have secured most of Egypt, though. This supply hub's useless over here, though they are allied over here, so they are getting the supply from this port. Ireland, hold the line. Training up a tank, cool. Since Czechoslovakia has capitulated, not a good time. What? For some reason, the Italian decisions to suppress the mafia are showing up for me. <laughs> Uh, I guess maybe because I hold Sardinia. Turkey declared war on the French commune. Where? The French commune doesn't exist. What? Actually, it's okay if they have this supply hub. It doesn't connect up to anything. Retreat from that supply hub. You can have it. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is a far more defensible line over here. They're trying to take their port back, but they're not going to be able to do that. Bulgaria has joined now. So hopefully the Balkan Entente is uh, prepared for that. We have another naval invasion. That's fine. Not going to happen today, bucko. I'm going to go ahead and give Portugal back their things for the, the territory so I don't have to uh, garrison it. Yeah, that just looks a little better on the map at the very least. 
and then they get back their core territory so I don't have to garrison it. Balkan on top. Not looking too hot. And they won't give me military access, so I can't help them. Uh, the Union of Greek has just declared on Albania. And Albania has just joined the Balkan Entente. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Greece, why must you do this? Well, goodbye Entente. You're uh... Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Republican Italy is almost about to fall too, because they never actually finished their civil war because their faction joined the Axis, which means that they don't actually control cores on most of their territory. Gonna prepare a naval invasion, something like this. That way, if Republican Italy does fall, I can do something about it. You didn't need to let Albania into your faction. You did not need to open up a new front. And there's almost nothing I can do, except for wait. I mean, there's no way I could save them anyways. I hardly have two army groups. I mean, for a minor power, I'm not too bad, but I'm, I'm definitely not super great. Well, this is um, not good. Now, this is why I prepped this naval invasion. Well, let's launch this naval invasion. Fortunately, they probably should have no divisions in position, so this should be a completely free landing. Try and grab as much territory as we can. Yeah, some resistance has shown up. Let's keep pushing. We need to hit them while they're not in position or dug in and keep moving. Oh, yeah, here they are. Well, they're just going to take that. I can't really oppose that one. Their attention is solely focused on me as their only enemy, but we'll keep harassing them, causing damage where we can. Got a encirclement coming up. Come on, take this port over here. Cut them off. Sweet. Let's close this pocket. We've gotten a foothold. All right, we've taken out that. They are making a push down here because they are convoy raiding, which means that my supplies are struggling for sure. It is funny that I have all of these mafia dis... I, I think it's really funny that I could pick a decision to remove the Mafia in one of the states that I don't control yet. I don't think this is okay. I don't think this is meant to happen. <laughs> Honestly, I want to just do, click one of these buttons just because I've like, I just, I gotta see it. Like, we don't control this area. We're at war with them. And yet we can go, yeah, hey, you know that Mafia that's all the way deep within your territory? Oh, we're at war with you? We want to help deal that. I know it's waste of guns. But let me just click one of these buttons like this there's no way that i would realistically get over here let's remove the mafia from this region it makes sense to have this decisions for the areas that i'm in but it makes no sense to have the decisions for the area that i'm not in let's fall back to a more defensible line let's go back over here ah yes finally <laughs> this is what i needed hopefully this means they move some divisions out of the way China joined the Axis. Hmm. I think I'm probably going to do another run of this that's a little more coherent. I have to say, I've had a ton of fun in my North African campaign, but I was hoping for a world conquest that does not look like it's going to happen. I mean, just looking at this map, you can tell there's one faction that's particularly large compared to the rest of them. I don't know. It's pretty clear who's going to win, I think. Oh no, Ireland fell too. Dang. I guess they were in the Balkan Entente and then Balkan Entente capitulated. It is funny that the UK declared war on Ireland and then Germany took it. Come on, give me this encirclement. Let's do some pinning attacks. Come on, pull this off, please. Push, push, push. Get this encirclement. They're distracted. Yeah, okay. Pushing up, try and take Rome. Yeah, reinforcements have arrived. I'm gonna close this pocket. There we go. Keep moving. Benino Mussolini is deposed again for the second time. <laughs> Man, Italy's not having a good time. This is the second civil war that's happened. I mean, they only survived because of the, uh, the Axis intervention. Yeah, no one's here. This war has totally distracted all of their divisions. They just don't care about me anymore. And Italy has capitulated. All right, uh, Greece is not looking too healthy. That kind of sucks. We're probably not going to be able to push through the Alps, but it is a defensible line that we can harass the enemy from. 
Oh, the other nice thing about having this Italian puppet is that that way we have local supply instead of having to ship it through convoy. What's my war score looking like? 58% of the war effort. I won't complain about that. It's got 16 more divisions trained up. Ooh, they've left their tile open. This is great. Let me pull this off, please. I'd love to get an encirclement and push through the mountains. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is going to happen. I'll stop. I'll at least be able to push him out to this tile and have a super defensible position. Let's go ahead and uh, give the uh, the Italians, my Italian puppets, control over the Italian territory so that I don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, how did the uh, the mafia thing go? Oh yeah, I removed the mafia from that state. Okay. Yeah, that's so dumb that I can... At least this makes sense because now they're my puppet. Nice encirclement. For some reason, they don't want to take the south. I don't know why. More divisions removed. Making pushes, small little gains here and there. Ooh, I love to get this encirclement off. The blizzard that's happening here is not helping a lot. Oh no. Hold the line. Hold the line, don't get reverse encircled. Oh no. Tank. It looks like I'll be able to do it. Okay, good, that was a close call. That was a very close call. Yeah, I wasn't able to close it. That's fine. Why must you be so stubborn? Let me close the pocket. There we go. This time we got it. Good. All right, we're making gains. Close this. The Polish have collapsed. That sucks. That's a lot of the Soviet army. That's probably about to be encircled and destroyed. Dang it. That sucks. That's really bad. Okay, then. Why are you so insistent on going after France? This is the second time. Oh, no. <laughs> Pain. Pain. Oh, no. So, you know, obviously, I can, I can say this is a solid victory. I clearly have, you know no issues and nothing wrong has happened whatsoever and yeah this is perfect you know this is, this is, this is really great well you guys um force deploy this offensive over here is not going well let's fall back to a more defensible position some good infantry over here and then the rest can go help deal with france come on don't let us get encircled and france has joined good thing i've gotten troops into position just barely in time oh no Dang, that's a lot of troops that I just lost. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them out. Yeah, no, they're, they're gone. Goodbye. I salute you, brave souls. That didn't evacuate in time. And now they're pushing. With France joining the war, I'm kind of screwed. Let's defend this tile over here better. All right, we're fine. Not, not fine. Fall of Kiev. Oh, no. I think there were, I think the uh, the Union of Soviet Republics lost their entire army in Poland. Oh no, they lost a million. They did lose their entire army. No. In order to just annex Portugal, in order to continue down my Vogus tree, I have to take out Great Britain, German Reich, Italy, which I've already done, and China. Yay. I'm revising my defensive line here. Let's hold here. And we've completely run out of convoys. Oh, they're making a push down here in Egypt. They're fighting. Are they going to take it? They're about to encircle it. I shouldn't look too far away from my own front lines. Okay. <laughs> the combination of Germany, Great Britain, France, and China is just... Oh, that's awful. Okay, then. Dawn of the European Federation. The European Federation is another player on the scene. I don't think they're going to last very long. Oh, Regional de Sud is so close to capitulating. Oh, no. Wait, what? If they lose, like, a single tile, they fall. Oh, no. That's awful. Do you not get the course that I have gave you? It's not the, the territory I've given them doesn't count towards their course because they rose up in the north. It's the same problem with Republican Italy, because the war hasn't ended, it doesn't actually transfer the ownership of the territory, which means even though they hold their course, they don't own it, so it doesn't count towards their capitulation. 
Great Britain's trying to reclaim their colonies, it seems. The European Federation has more territory outside of Europe than inside of Europe. <laughs> That's um, odd, for sure. It's kind of like when the Chinese United Front gets, like, Yugoslavia. Belgium has fallen. Netherlands soon to follow. Oh, whoa, Belgium is doing some good work here in Africa. That is actually quite surprising. More armored divisions? Yeah, quite a few, actually. Sure, I'll take it. Four more armored divisions. So the problem is I'm starting to run out of manpower, and that's it. What I have is what I have, because... I can't get any more cores. Um, they're still in a civil war and they've decided, yeah, let's throw one more onto that. That sounds reasonable. Oh, and one that's landlocked. What are you doing? This is a landlocked nation. How are you going to get here? Do you have military access or something? Okay, well, they're justifying a war goal. Then they can attack Guanxi and then push into Yunnan, I suppose. I don't know what to do unless I'm... Unless I get insanely lucky. I don't think it's going to happen. Let me just probe all of their sea zones. Ooh, I can get the Bay of Biscay. I do have supremacy here. I could do something like naval invade France from the side, like with some tanks. Hit Bordeaux and push over here. Cut off this entire army, encircle it, destroy it. Knock them out. That would be flashy and exciting but really unwise. Trotsky Grad has fallen. Oh no. That's one another major victory point of the uh, Soviet Republic's loss. I could, um, 17 divisions, 30 divisions. I could yoink my puppets divisions and use them. Force deploy these tanks and these infantry because I'm gonna need them. Well, this is a mess of a bunch of <laughs> naval invasions. This is a bold play. It's going to be extremely risky, but if I can uh, cut all the way over to the Swiss border right here, and then I push down, I hopefully should be able to encircle the entire uh, army in France. Launch the massive naval invasion. Initial strikes are not winning so far. This is a major invasion. Oh man, they have so many garrisons here. Come on, try and take as much as we can. Try and cut off their ports. Come on, we gotta make this work. Let's get their supply hub and do something like this and cut them off before they can respond. Pin you in place, I see you trying to get away from this. And we've cut them off, but we need to maintain it. All right, all of you push forward. We need to keep them in place and continue to cut them apart. Hit them from both sides, close this army, and then keep pushing. All right, got another encirclement over here. We've linked up our entire front lines. This is so far successful, but we have a long way to go until we're actually safe. All right, we've got them encircled up here as well. All right, we've almost completely encircled their line on the Pyrenees. Good, 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 good. This is working beautifully. All right, we've got this group encircled. Keep moving. Try and take all of these ports down here so that they have no supply in the region. Why are my tanks moving so slowly? Air superiority. Oh. You guys try and give air superiority so we can actually move faster. We need to free our divisions. We got encircled ourselves a little bit. That is a risk from these bold maneuver strategies. Push up here. Oh no. Oh sweet, we're about to pull off this encirclement. Yes. Great. Yes, this naval invasion is kind of concerning. Portugal, all of your divisions, please go and deal with this. I have no fuel left, so that kind of sucks. Let's launch an assault. <clears throat> okay. We're very close to Paris. You pin them in place, good. And we've got another encirclement, great. We're about to move into Paris, we've taken Paris. France should fall very soon, hopefully. Yeah, there we go, there's France. And have we dealt with this? Not quite yet. Keep making encirclements, try and get the pressure off of the Swiss so that they can hold the line where they're at. We've gotten this encirclement, cool. Here we go, that's good. China is not looking too hot. 
they sent too many of their divisions over to the European theater when they really shouldn't have. So yeah, at least we don't have to go all the way to the other side of the world to deal with them. We can just focus on the European theater. Oh, I've got so many divisions over here. Hey, Swiss, will you give me military access? No. Why? No one wants to give me military access. That's great. Thanks. You know, I'd help you out. I know I'll eventually aim to conquer you, but, you know, I'd at least temporarily help you out. We're just about to close this up, kick them out of Iberia. Our air force is severely outmatched. Ah, nice. Sweet. That was not what I wanted you to do. Why'd you have to go and do that? Dang it, I lost my tanks. How are my stockpiles looking? Not great in anything. We have put Netherlands back on the map. Good. It's time for your doom. Hopefully I can do it before the uh, the Soviets capitulate, because if they bring that army back around this way, hmm, not going to have a fun day. Belgium, would you like your territory back? Because I will give it to you if you want it. Things are not looking good over here. Take back this... Uh, thing please we have taken almost a million casualties the soviets are days away from capitulating they've taken three million casualties oh man they're almost at the urals we have dealt a million casualties to the germans oh and we're completely out of manpower as well and i can't go up conscription laws you know what i'm gonna do a bold move no garrison screw it no garrisons we need all of the manpower and stuff that we can get that's a good amount that gets me some equipment back as well. We're so close. We need to take out Germany before the Soviet Union falls. We're so close to closing this. Oh. Um. Italian army, please. Over here if you can. And the, uh, the, the, the Soviet Union has capitulated. Huh. Which now means they have an entire army over here. That's gonna, you know, go over this direction. What do I do? Oh, and now they're naval invading me over here. I don't, I don't think I can win this one. I'm missing almost 40,000 guns, so that's fun. France is back on the map. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see what I can do. My troops are vastly under strength. I only have 38% of the equipment that I actually need. We're depleted. We have no manpower, no equipment, nothing. Um, let's retreat. Get out of here. Try and save as many of my divisions as possible. I'm like mighty close to capitulating. Yeah. We're about to capitulate. And there we go. Well, this is um, how the land was partitioned. And this was, this was fun. Yes, it was a defeat, but it was kind of hopeless the second the UK joined Germany. I kind of knew I was going to lose at that point. Thanks for watching. And with that, goodbye.